Welcome to our image competition, the first image competition for IEPPV for 2023. We have three judges with us tonight. Our first judge is Steve Brazel. Welcome, Steve. Hello, how are is everybody tonight? We're great. We're excited to have you here. Can you tell our audience a little bit about you? Uh, yeah, my name is Steve Brazel. I'm a, uh, a live music <laughs> photographer, concerts from Southern California. I'm also the host of a podcast called Behind the Shot. And uh, I've been in radio for a number of years. I work here in Southern California at, at KCAL FM. I do workshops through places like Princeton Photo Workshops. And uh, I look a lot like Troy. <laughs> it's the hair. It's the hair. It's the hair. <laughs> we also have Jim Doyle joining us tonight. Hi, Jim. Can you please introduce yourself to our judge or our viewers today? Okay. My name is Jim Doyle. Nice to be here tonight. Thank you for the invitation. I'm an architectural photographer, uh, started out in weddings, but uh, just couldn't handle it. Um, that was quite a few years ago, but I've uh, been in uh, architecture since uh, about 2000 and uh, past president of PPC and PPOC. Just glad to be here tonight. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. And then we have Michael Rhino. Hi, Michael. Hi, thank you. Uh, yeah, Michael Rhino. I'm from uh, Highlands Ranch, Colorado, uh, and I'm the uh, president of Professional Photographers of Colorado last year and this year. And uh, most of my photography is landscape and nature, but I also enjoy doing portraits and other people uh, photography. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate that we can have judges from different locations and it allows us to have a wider variety of judges instead of only those judges that want to drive out in Southern California traffic on a weeknight. So thank you for joining us. We have 61 images tonight in our competition. We have two divisions, our master division and our regular division. We're gonna start with our master division tonight. Our first category in the master division is illustrative. And the first image is contour, contour. It's not showing up. Kim, it's the one with the umbrella just to be con uh, to confirm. Yes. Yeah, it's Thank on you. my screen. Uh -huh. I have Got it. <laughs> and the score is 81. Jim, will you please comment? Sure. Um, I scored the image in 84. Uh, I like the, I like where the, the person is positioned, the fact that the eyes, the mouth are, and the nose are all captured uh, without having being bisected. One thing that kept me from going higher was the uh, string over on the top left-hand side. Uh, take that out, I think, uh, I think, and maybe darken down the subject so that it's more of a silhouette rather than a, uh, rather than having a gradient. I think that would help it uh, quite a bit, uh, but I scored it an 84. Thank you. Thank you. The next image also in the master illustrative is the touch of her lips, the touch of her lips. score is 80. Steve, can you comment, please? Yeah, uh, so I'm unmuted. Okay. I gave this image a 79. I came very close to giving it an 80. Um, there's a lot I love about the whole approach that the maker of this image took to it. I love the angle that you chose. Obviously, you know, water image, this was not, you know, vertical probably orientation to, to start and you rotated it. And I kind of like that. 
Um, what held me back from meriting the image are some small little things. The bubble on her mouth actually is uncomfortable to me and the, the lips being pursed gives kind of a, a, a unattractive feel to me to the shape of her face and the shape of her mouth. Again, like the concept, but if you look at the lines of the lips, it really breaks. The lighting, I, I would do a little work in post to try and get myself a little bit more on some of the highlights on the side of the face and a little bit more on the shadow side, maybe even some detail in that hair coming into the water. Um, but uh, love where you're going with it. And there are things that I think would really bring this into a merit category. Again, 79. Thank you. Our next image, still in the master illustrative category, is last ride of the day. Last ride of the day. so bad. Score is 80. Michael. Sure, sure. I scored this one uh, 81 just into the uh, merit category. Overall, I, I, I love the, the the beautiful tones and so forth. The um, Catching this thing, I'm guessing that this is uh, sunset. Uh, I like the action. I like the expression on his face. What, what held me back a little bit on this one was, I guess there were a couple of things. It may be you know, my suggestion would be maybe to uh, darken down a little bit of that bright spot that's down on the very bottom right. Um, my eye sort of goes, even though I love the rest of the image in that, my eye kind of goes to that as a little bit of a distraction. And um, it's something that I guess can't really be avoided with uh, a, a shot like this because it's all catching it right at the time and right at the moment and so forth. But just where the horizon line is uh, kind of coming, coming across right into his head, I would prefer to have him be a little bit below that or maybe a little bit above that, but it's coming right through the head. Obviously not something that you can control, mm -hmm. but um, I, I, you know, aside from that, I, th I think it's a beautiful image and I gave it an 81. Thank you. Our last image in the master illustrative category is two points of view, two points of view. Score is 84. Jim. I scored oh, this an 84. Excuse uh, me, it's an 85. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. I scored an 84. Maybe I am a little low. But I really love it. Uh, I think the the positioning of the bird, or the birds, I should say, the fact that the, that the shadows don't bisect. I love the uh, the relief around the 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 forget I don't even know what to call it the the way that the uh the maker sculpted the the background is is really lovely um I think I think there there could be a little more detail in the subject to bring it up a little bit and I think that could go a lot higher uh but it it looks to me on my screen at least to be more of in the watercolor direction rather than uh rather than uh, well like the back bird the neck if it had a little more detail in it i think uh, i could go a little higher with it scored it in four kim can i say one quick thing sure yeah just uh, same thing i'm an 80 I'm 84 on this image as well beautiful image but since jim brought up the matting that you have here the the the, the recessed matting that could so easily be overdone on an image and on this image it just works so Oof. Credit to the maker for your choice on that. Absolutely. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I, and I really like the high key effect on the image itself. And yeah. that I, I, the presentation is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. We're now moving to the master landscape category. First image is Boomerang Bridge. Boomerang Bridge.
score is 83. Steve. Yeah, so I'm, I got it right. Yay. Uh, I'm an 83 on this image. And I struggled with this really thinking higher, lower, and, and I think 83 is perfect for it. What you did on this image as a maker is really, really nice. Your choice of lens, your choice of position, your choice of processing, your choice of, of depth of field, uh, all of it is amazing. Your, the way that you kept the sky, you didn't over-process it. I mean, there's a couple areas that I see that I struggled with. Uh, right side of, of the sky, very right edge of the image above the building, there's some unnatural looking light areas in the sky there, almost like you missed a spot touching up, but you didn't overcook the sky. The one area that I could have gone 85 on this, if some of those buildings had the contrast that I see in the bridge, the, some of the buildings are just flat, like the one dead center next to the, the spire. Um, if, if that was fixed, this is just a really nicely done image. One other thing though, I think the key line on your presentation, and by the way, this just has huge impact. Key line on your presentation is too thick, and I'm, I'm not sure the color accentuates when you have this much of that color water. I might consider changing that, but minor, 83. I'd like to make one quick point. Uh, I scored it an 85, by the way. Um, I tend to agree with, with Steve on the, the key line, maybe a little less water, but the one thing that my eye keeps going to, man, the photographer nailed this in terms of perspective, got the edges of the bridge the same dis equal distance. The, the balance is perfect. The one thing that my eye keeps going to is that expansion joint right in the center of the bridge. Um, you got to get rid of that because you've got everything else perfectly symmetrical. And that one thing just keeps drawing my eye to it and as a distraction. But other, I uh, scored it an 85. And strangely to me, I actually like that it's off. That's the kink. <laughs> okay, continuing in the master landscape, our last image in the master landscape is Auckland, New Zealand. Auckland, New Zealand. <clears throat> What's the category, Kim, on this one? This is Master Landscape. Score is 82, Michael. Yeah, yeah. So um, my score was 81. So I'm pretty close there to that average, a little bit below there. You know, I really like the image. Another one of these uh, high key images that um, I enjoy trying to, to experiment with myself in that. I, th I think it was it was well done in this case. I would have gone higher. I'm, I'm just trying to see where my eyes are supposed to land here and that. the I, I'm just getting a little bit distracted, I guess, by the you know, the, the number of the boats of the white boats that are there at the lower level. And I understand you probably can't really do a whole lot about that part of it, but I'm just trying to figure out, you know, my eyes kind of scan across here on that, but there's not a, aside from that, that tall building that's kind of in the, that middle or the left third, my eyes are just aren't landing on anything as a, as a subject matter on that. But otherwise I like that. I like the presentation. I like the, the key line on that. I think the white border on that works well with a high key image. Um, presentation, good. Just, it was, I'm just trying to see what, where my eyes are supposed to go to on this one. Okay. Our next image is master nature category, looking for dinner, looking for dinner. Score is 84, and 
Jim. Thank you. I scored it an 85 and uh, boy, I, that's a pretty powerful image. And I'm looking at it and everything on that bird is tack sharp. The tips of the wings, all of the feathers, every, there's no, there's no uh, haloing around it or anything. That's, that's extremely well done. Uh, the bird is centered in the image. I think it would have gone a little bit higher had he maybe been shifted to the left. Uh, so he wasn't dead center. His head wasn't dead center in the uh, in the frame. But still, all in all, it's it's a stunning image and, and extremely well done. Kim, I'd like to challenge this. You said it got an eighty four, right? Yes. Yeah, I'd love to get this up into excellent. Okay, um, I've cleared the scores. So Steve, if there's comments you'd like to make for the challenge. So I was an eighty five on this image for everything that Jim said. Yeah, I mean, if the bird were a little higher, maybe. I mean, I love the fact that I even saw spots on my monitor because of the sky that aren't in the image. Um, but but the soft touch on the sky, I, I, the bird is not dead center to me. It is closer to the right-hand side, the pano type style, the tasteful key line presentation, the impact that I can see both eyes, even though one of them, it's only a little bit. Um, that I, I looked at this and I went, okay, there's got to be some chromium aberration or halo or something around this where they messed with the sky and missed a spot, and they didn't. Uh, this maker deserves an 85 to me, so I'd love to get it bumped up. I'm at an 85. And, and I was at 83, and I can go higher on that for the points that you brought up, and the more I look at it, the more I like it, and great point. So I, I could go higher than this. I scored it at 85, and I'll score it at um, Okay. Score it again. Score is now an 86. Congratulations to the maker. Very good. Our next image is in the master photographic artist category, Cottontail. Cottontail. score is 81. Steve. So I'm the bad guy probably here. I'm at a 79 on this image. And again, this is one of those images where I, I, I so respect where the maker is going with this. I just think it wasn't taken all the way where it can be. There's just some basic things. So where the body is leaving the water and you get into the distortion at the front of the human, there's some really weird lines cutting into their chest that are just uncomfortable as it trans. That transition isn't as soft as the image makes me want to see. The image pulls me into cottontail, soft, beautiful uh, uh, human here. But then you have these rough, sharp edges at, at like the rib cage. Same with the water. The water has dark, but there's very little contrast in the rest of the image. And then the leg position and feet position the left foot turned away from me with the big toe facing away from me, the knees touching. If those, it looks almost tight. Whereas I'd, I'd love to see a little more relaxation, have them go back down again and say, I need you to make sure that your foot is turned more to the camera, separate your knees a little bit, just get some air into the image, some breathing into the image. And I think that you'd have an amazing image here. I just think it needs to go the rest of the way. Thank you. Our next, Category is the photojournalism category in the master division. Our first image is camouflage. Camouflage. Score is 83. Michael. 
Oh, okay. So I was the one who was uh, on the, the the lower end on this one. Um, and, and, and the reason I so so my score was uh, seventy eight. And on this one, I like I, I like the, the the portrait image in that that I see here in front of me. And that um, couple of the things that were causing me to go a little bit lower in that was it, it, to, to me anyways on my screen. The nose is a little bit softer focus. I would have maybe gone with. The eyes look nice and sharp in that, but it, I'm losing it a little bit on the nose. So you know, just in terms of that focal plane and that, maybe a little bit um, uh, tighter aperture to uh, to get all of that in focus. Um, and then just in, in terms of, I, I like the lighting overall, um, but am kind of just seeing some uh, shadows that I wasn't sure about over there on, as I'm looking at it, uh, camera left over on the left side of the neck and that that were that were throwing me off a little bit and then on the key line i i, I think it i think the presentation was well done but on the key line i'm losing it on that lower edge i've got i can see it on the other three edges the lower one i'm losing that so it's not keeping that keeping me in that frame there kim what did this get the score was an 83 Okay, continuing in the master photojournalism category, young novice monks, <clears throat> young novice monks. Jim, if you could comment, score is an 80. Uh, I scored it a 78. <clears throat> um, I like the exposure. I like the <clears throat> how the maker captured uh, all of the, the children. The, the thing that threw me off is the angle of the table and the angle of the floor. Um, had, had it been a little more square, I realized that all you can do is pretty much point and, and and try and capture it, but just by moving over a few inches and squaring up on it to pick up the the, the parquet on the floor as well as the table, uh, I think would have been for me would have improved the uh, the image significantly. I scored it a seventy eight. And Kim, can I add one quick thing? Sure. Uh, everything he just said, but as you straighten it. This has such a, a capability here of leading lines leading into the image, and yet that table is pretty much dead center. You know, I don't necessarily need as many people on the right. If you were to shift this scene, which you had control of in, in photojournalism, mm -hmm. had you shift this scene and gotten them a little less on center, I think it also would have been nice. Shoot a little wider if you need to, to get that table off towards a rule would be nice. Thank you. The next and final image in the master photojournalism category is Happy Harvest. <coughs> Happy Harvest. <clears throat> Score is an 80. Steve. So I'm a 79 on this image. Congratulations to the maker on meriting. Uh, I did not merit this image because, it, okay, so photojournalism, there are still things that you can do in post. It's not just snap it and be done. You can dodge, you can burn, you can crop, you can color correct, etc. And so to me, you had no choice at the time of day here, right? This is straight overhead sun. It's super harsh. It's super bright, but you could have held the highlights. And the highlights are blown out on the grass at the bottom. The highlights are blown out on the hat on the left. The highlights are blown out on the tail on the right, on a lot of the hats in the middle. Had you pulled your exposure down a little bit, you would have had a lot more information to work with to get me details in those areas that still let me know the time of day, 
without losing the data that I want to see. Um, so 79 for me. Thank you. Our next category is Master Portrait. The first image in Master Portrait is the power of prayer. The power of prayer. Score is 81. Michael. Sure. I was, I was a little bit higher than that. I was at uh, 84. I really, I really enjoyed this image right when it came up. Uh, the, the, the light on her face, I think is, I think it's beautifully done. Um, you know, the light, the shadow, I, I'm getting good dimension with, uh, with the way that that looks. I, you know, I also, it, it, what, what kept me from going a little bit higher is, uh, there's a little bit of brightness that's down there on the, um, is that a Bible book that she's holding in that just right on that edge that kind of pulls my eye down to that and away from, from her face. But otherwise I, you know, I, I thought that, um, like I say, the, the, the lighting on the face is very nice. I like the way that the light kind of comes down through sections of her hair all the way down to the, the lower part of it. Um, I think the positioning of it is good for, for a portrait while she's pretty close to the center in that, I think it works for this image that didn't, that didn't bother me at all. I like the presentation on it. So again, I was at, uh, what did I say? I was 84, I think, 84. 84. Thank you. Our next image still in the portrait category is, I will always protect you, little sis. I will always protect you, little sis. Jim, if you could comment, um, the score on this one is an 80. The score is 78. Um, I think the maker's on, uh, on track with this, but there are a few things that held me back from going higher. Um, primarily the fact that the horse and the legs of the horse are one of the brightest, so my eyes get drawn there. There's the bottom right-hand corner, that uh, white area peeking in. Uh, I like the I like the halo effect or the back lighting effect. Um, maybe bring the eyes up just a little bit, so mm -hmm. I'm drawn more in, especially to the little girl's eyes. But I think the left side, tone the left side down, uh, the horse in particular, and I think uh, I think you've got a very stunning portrait. Can I add a quick thing, Kim? Sorry. Sure. Yeah, so everything he said, the horse draws my eye, but the biggest thing to me, there's there's two things. Bottom right corner. All that ground is dark, and then you have a triangle of bright white in the bottom right corner that I'm just wondering, is that paint on a road or something? And the it's it's a master portrait category. So I'm assuming you had control over all of this, whether you're in a park or not. Mm -hmm. And those rim lights are just gone. They're blown out. Um, <clears throat> so I, it, I'd love to see you have scrimmed that somehow, gotten the focus on the, the back eyes as well as the, the child in the front. But man, are you on to something there. 81 for me. Thank you. Yeah, I was, I was 81 also in that. Love the storytelling, but for all the other points in that. And then there was there's that one white um, blotch that's back behind the horse there that was pulling me away too. But beautiful image, be a great story here. Thank you. Still in the master portrait category, our next image is Little Mischievous. Little Mischievous. Mm -hmm. 
Score is an 82. Steve, if you could comment. Yeah, so I'm an 83 on this image. And just so that uh, you guys know, I, I sent you a message in chat. <clears throat> um, so I'm an 83 on this image. And again, who's ever taking these? I have never seen somebody pose kids this so spot on for the story that you're trying to tell with your image title, the tie-in from the posing to the image title, the feet position, the hand position, the way they're high, just so, yeah, really nice. Uh, what held me from going higher is it's almost a straight line of blur at the bottom to then where the child is um, on the path, which is not blurry at all. And then behind the child, the blur kicks in again. And it's as though it was done in post. I think the backside may be natural, but then somebody blurred the front and it's just that the edge is really drawing my eye there. It's not soft enough there. And if it's natural, I'd still fix it. And then the composition. There's so much wasted space above and to the left. I think if you move this whole thing uh, if you cropped the right in about half of what's there, um, that would offset the child and then brought the left and top down about a quarter. I just think it would tighten nose room for the horse. I, I, I think it would be a lot to work with here, but in 83. Thank you. Our next and final image in the master portrait category is growing. Growing. Score is an 81. Michael. Yeah, I was slightly above that. I was at 82. So in the merit category in that, you know, once again, uh, as we've seen in the last couple of images, and I'll kind of isolate it to this one, but beautiful storytelling. Once again, I like the, uh, the, the facial expression as she's pouring water onto this growing plant that's in front of her. I, I do like the uh, depth of the, 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 the uh, use of depth of field back behind her with the trees and they sort of frame her within that uh, a few of the branches that are back in there. Um, the, the, the vocal effect in that I think is really well. Um, I, I, this one, similar to uh, the other image in that, I'm trying to figure out the, how in terms of the, that abruptness of sharp, and then I'm talking about the uh, lower, the, the foreground there, the abruptness of going from sharp to immediately blurred there's not like a gradual transition of that so i'm not sure exactly how that is taking place but that's what held me from going a little bit higher but again beautiful story lovely image uh overall in that and i put that in the merit category at 82. thank you and kim kim one quick note mm -hmm. the finger sticking out from the knee uh <laughs> yeah you got it you got to take those out or fix that because that huge huge distraction to me wondering what the blemish on her knee was thank you it's good that you point those things out because people look at their own image for hours at a time and you don't see those and someone else looks at it and points it out and then you're like how did i not see that yeah so, no, I, I was a 79 partially because of that in the blur at the bottom i'd love to have merited this image but that to me was a big miss so. thank you we're now moving into the regular division. Our first category in the regular division is illustrative. And the first image is breaking up, breaking up.
Jim, we're still waiting on your score. Let me clear and redo it. I put it in already. I'll do it again. Did you get it? No, I'm going to um, have to clear it so that you guys can rescore. So, Steve and Michael, if you can um, give your same scores, I'm going to clear. Okay. Hold on just a minute. Okay. I've cleared the scores. If you could please rescore. Did you get it, Kim? Does, does it have to be the same or can we change it? Um, I guess you can change it. It hasn't gone through yet. Uh, the score is an 82. Jim, if you could comment. Uh, I scored it at 84 and I probably would have gone significantly higher. Again, it's symmetrical. It's beautiful and extremely well done. I think maybe bring it up just a little bit, um, especially in the top, bring up the exposure just a touch. <laughs> Uh, whether it needs two key lines or not, I'm not sure, but uh, I scored it at 84. I think it's it's very well done. Thank you. Next image still in the regular illustrative category is a plethora of markers. A plethora of markers. Yeah, could you clear the scores and rescore it? Put in the wrong number. Okay, yeah, let me clear the scores. Okay, if you could all rescore, please. Mine's not allowing me to clear the number. There we go. Sorry about that. And score is 78. Uh, Steve. So again, I got a, another one right. This is feels so good. Uh, 78. Uh, and to the maker, I, I love your eye of how you see you know, what many people would walk by and not realize is a photographic subject and you found it. And I love that. What held me back from meriting this was some simple things that you got right in some areas and to me could have been improved in some areas to, to make it a stronger composition to draw me the viewer in. I think you got the right subject, but for example, on the left-hand side at the top, there is a tag with words on it. I love the fact you didn't crop that in half, that I can read that tag that it's there and anything else that's cut off on that side, I know what it is, even though some is missing, like a headshot when you cut off the head, we know the rest of the head is there, okay? On the right-hand side, however, there's a couple of things you cropped in such a way that they're almost an artifact that's left behind, specifically just below center, there's a rounded, I'm assuming it's another buoy, another marker. The ones at the top are cut in half, but I know what they are. And I would have liked a cleaner cut on that to really tighten up what everything is and not have it feel like an amputation of, of part of something. I'm a 78. Thank you. Still in the regular illustrative category is reflection of war. Reflection of war. Or is a 78? Uh, let's see. Michael. Yeah, yeah. So I was at 80. Um, and uh, the the there were a couple things. Yeah, so I was just barely into the merit category in that. I, I like I like the story. I like the um the fact that you got this reflection. You found a good eye for walking around and uh, looking for a puddle and putting your subject in there and getting that reflection down on there. I think the sky is beautiful. I like a lot of what's going on with that. Um, the, the, th the thing that held me back a little bit is 
if if there was a way and it just may be that the that puddle wasn't situated well enough or you couldn't position yourself i'm not sure but like the top of i'm going to call it the um the set the, the center column up at the top of the uh the vessel is cut off right there at the bottom and then maybe if there's you know there's just a few kind of distractions that are within that reflection that i think could be cleaned up there but um otherwise you know i, li I like the scene i like the the lighting on it i think is beautiful um, just a couple of those things helped me from going a little bit higher. Thank you. Next in the regular illustrative category is focal point. Focal point. Score is a 79. Jim. Uh, I scored it a 70, or excuse me, I scored it an 80. Um, and I, I, the reason I gave uh, the merit, in my, my opinion, is the, I, I like the symmetry of the way that the maker set it up. It's, it's the bottom, had, had they come back a little bit more, um, gotten back just, I don't know what, what the, where they were standing for this, but uh, it looks like the center of the image is above her hair as opposed to being on her body um, centered in it. it we're, we're looking down into it. And I would have gone higher with that, but I like the control. I like the shadow detail in all the shadows and the highlights. I would, I don't know that you can reshoot it, but but um, the, the, the position has me has me concerned about it so i scored it an 80 though thank you the final image in the regular illustrative category is the climb the climb Score is an 80. Steve, you got it right again. I got it right again. Uh, I, I'm an 80 on this one. And total honesty, my mind is thinking I maybe should have gone lower because of th some things. Uh, but congratulations to the maker on a merit. Uh, it is the illustrative category. You could have done some stuff to this image. At first, I thought I wished the stairs were straight. I'm actually glad they're not. It adds a perspective, it adds a twist. However, by them not being straight, the symmetry of the edges, the, the chain link on the left-hand side gets way too close to the edge of the frame for me. I love the torn paint. I love everything about the top, um, but I can see no something on the white sign. And you know what? If you took that sign out, this would be more timeless, right? The problem is this is clearly old and dilapidated, but I'm assigning a time and history to it based on the writing, the font, the sign. If you took that sign out, this suddenly becomes a timeless photo. And I think that would be stronger. Plus bring down the right knob um, of the hand uh, of the railing, bring down that brightness and the wall behind it so that I'm only sucked right up the stairs as a viewer and not noticing that wall as much. I'm an 80. Uh, I'd like to make one comment, Kim, if I could. Go ahead, Jim. All the points that Steve made, mm -hmm. but I would, I would strongly recommend to the maker that they fix the perspective um, 
on this, the warp, I should say. If you look in the top left, the door frame, and in the back, and up on the bars too, there's a warp going on up there. Just fix the warp in that. That would, you may have to expand the left just a little bit, but that would fix a lot of the problems that Steve was alluding to and that I think could make this go much higher. It's going Good to point. 78. Which also doesn't recenter the stairs. It leaves them off center, but it trues the lines. Right. Right, right. And, and, and maybe by shooting a little bit wider, if you had that ability to do that, then you'd have that room to transform that a little bit. Thank you. We have three images for review. Um, images where 78 or 79 have a review. If you would like it to stay at its original score, please give it a 79. If you want to bring it up to a merit, please give it an 80. The first one is a plethora of markers. Stays the same. Our next one, 78, is reflection of war. Stays the same. And the next one is focal point with a 79. And it stays the same. We're now moving into the regular division landscape category. First image is Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln Memorial. Let me try to pull that up again. I don't think that showed up for you. It did for me. It, okay. I, 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 it has not come up on mine. And it didn't in your screen share either. Yeah, we're <laughs> trying to bring it back up. <clears throat> oh, I see where it is. It, I can get it on that one, not up there. Okay. You try to refresh, maybe? There we go. Score is an 80. Michael. Yeah, so I was just under the merit category on this one with a 79. Um, I, obviously, a, a very famous, very good location. I like this symmetry. I like the, um, you know, the lines are all nice and straight throughout the image and that. I like this one in the black and white. Uh, the couple things that held me back a little bit on it is, and and it, it maybe just be, I don't know exactly as far as the time in that, but the fact that that, that light and shadow across uh, Lincoln's uh, forehead, if you know, I'm trying to think of, how, I guess that light's coming in from the east, if it was a little bit earlier or a little bit later, whatever would have provided that ability to have him fully lit and not have part of that head um, cut across there with the lighting. Uh, and then just, I guess on this one here, I think I'm not seeing a, a mat or a presentation with it. So I held it back a little bit because of that as well. And Kim, one quick one. Sure. Go ahead, Go ahead Steve. Uh, love everything that you did here, everything that, that Jim said. Uh, the one thing is, though, your highlights across the, the middle are mm -hmm. too high. And just so, that every, just so that you know, in case somebody's going to say, oh, you know, it looks fine on my monitor. I am on a color calibrated monitor, recently calibrated. The mm -hmm. face of the building is too hot compared to the walls and the stairs at the bottom that are blocked up and muddy. Um, so I I'd, I'd balance that a little bit, but really nice image. I'm an 82. One a, not, not an 82, an 80 also. <laughs> I was an 80 also. My, my question is, okay, I agree that everything's hot, but the left side's hotter than the right. But yet, where are the, sh the shadow? Where's the light source? Because the shadows on the right-hand pillars are not on the left-hand pillars. And if so, and, and the shadow on Lincoln is coming from... Uh, about two o'clock, but the shadows on the left don't, don't correspond to that. So I think if you reworked a little bit, tone those down and fix the shadows, I think maybe that could be a lot higher. I scored it an eight. 
Good points. Thank you. Continuing in the regular division landscape category is slice of ice. Slice of ice. Score is 78. Jim. Uh, I scored it a 79, and I normally don't. Uh, I, I, I was just holding just quite, not quite at a merit point. I think there's, there's some things that I think uh, if you made the block of ice more prominent, brought up, brought down the background a little bit, because my eye wants to go to the back because of all the white, the brightness in the back, tone that that down and focus more in on on your your subject matter i think uh, there's some some real positive uh, uh, potential with this particular image i scored it to 79 thank you our next image in landscape is peer support peer support Score is 80. Steve. So I'm a 78 on this image. Um, you know, sometimes images come up and you struggle with them. They hit you with impact or they don't. And it and it kind of guides where you're going. And there's a couple of things that are, are conflicting in me on this one. First of all, your lines are not true. Um, <clears throat> the lower side at the top is, uh, the right side at the top is lower than the left side. Same on the bottom. I'd love that to be true. Your angle of attack here, based on where the horizon line is and where you are, as you go down the tunnel, there's just a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit of water. And I wish that, you know, that's blue out there past your long exposure. And I, I wish I could see more of that because it just, there's a weird disconnect to that color change at the end. And secondly, I think your long exposure may be a number I wouldn't go with. Um, it's long, clearly. I'm not sure it's long enough. The very front actually isn't affected very much. Um, I think if you're going to go for it, go for it. Make it a long exposure. Make it soft. Make it ethereal. Um, and then the upper left-hand corner is super, super bright. And the thing that really held me back on the right-hand side down the post, you have a halo. So if you're going to do sky processing or anything like that, you got to close those gaps. You got to zoom in. You got to look at all your edges and make sure that I don't see a white line running down the sides. I'm a 78. Thank you. Our next regular landscape entry is coastal dreams. Coastal dreams. Score is 81. Michael. And I was right on that number at the uh, 81. So slightly into the merit category in that. I, I, I think it's a, a it's a beautiful scene. I, you know, as far as um, time of day, you've got nice clouds with color in there. I like um, the, 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 the way that, that that color goes with the blue. It feels to me like maybe the blue is 
and, and, and just the way my eyes see it a little bit strong, I would maybe take down a little bit the saturation of the blues. Um, that's just, a, again, in my opinion in that, um, yeah, at first my eye was kind of going, maybe I, I felt like a little bit too much to the foreground there. That immediate tree there is kind of a little bit brighter than a lot of the other things in the scene scene. But then the more I looked at it, it's, that's kind of just the way the light's hitting that you could burn it down a little bit, but it's, I, I, it, it really wasn't holding me back. Um, so uh, overall, overall, I, I really enjoyed the scene. Like I say, I've maybe gotten a little bit higher. Just It just looks like there's maybe a little bit oversaturation on a couple of colors in there. But overall, I thought it was a good scene. Thank you. The next image still in the landscape category is Sisters Face the Storm. Sisters Face the Storm. Score is 79, Steve. So uh, I was gonna go, again, just being honest with, with the maker so that they know, I was gonna go 78, 79 on this. I went 80, specifically just because I think you did a lot of things really nicely. Um, and I thought that deserved a merit because I think your choice of composition, leaving a little empty on the right, where you cropped on the left, the pano type aspect to it, your choice of where your edges are, how you processed some of it with the sky not being over, over, overdone. So I'm in an 80, but here's what made me struggle to get to the 80 that I think would help you. The, the snow on the mountains is not clipped necessarily, but it's too hot in comparison to some of the extreme content, contrast that you have in the rocks on the left hill, the, the rocks that are in the foreground, Again, the, the, the shadows are blocked up to where I'm losing any amount of detail and it's making it over contrasty. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're doing clarity edge type contrast or real contrast or just not filling shadows, but I think you need to find a more natural balance so that I feel like I'm standing there, right? In, in a landscape image like this, make me feel like I'm standing there and need a jacket would be great. And I don't hear because it it's just a little too overcooked for me, but an 80. Thank you. Next, still in the landscape category, is below the canopy. Below the canopy. Jim, if you could comment. Oh, the score is 83. Uh, I scored it a 78. And um, I guess I'm low, man, on the totem pole this time. Um, there, there are a couple of things that, that it, it's a beautiful image, first of all, and I can see it hanging in any gallery. But I'm I'm just concerned that the, that the, um, the river is dead center in the middle of the photograph. It's almost centered horizontally, but definitely vertically. And while I like the the the, the uh, mossy log in the bottom, I think if you if if you had moved, if you if you still have space in your in your image, move everything over to the right and allow more of the water in there. 
I think that would help uh, significantly uh, Im improve the score. It's just too centered for a landscape photograph, in my opinion. I scored it a 78. Thank you. The next image in landscape is thundering waters. Thundering waters. Score is 77. Michael. Yeah, I, I was right in that range. I was at 78. Um, I mean, I, I, the, the location looks like it's beautiful. I wish I was there right now. But um, a couple things as far as the image itself goes in that. To me, uh, again, I, I think there's a different composition here that would that that you could do to um, make the to improve this image. In that, there's quite a bit of uh, I'll say I don't say negative space, but but area that really isn't doing anything for me, particularly to the left of the river. Um, I'm okay with some of that section that's over there to the right, but it's it's some of that part of it that's to the left. I think it's just a little bit too much of that. I need a little bit more of the river to to to, to bring my eyes in there again. Here again, that uh, that river is right dead center in the scene. I think it could just be composed a little bit differently. The other part of it too is uh, the sky again here looks a little bit that 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 blue just looks a little bit too blue for me. It might have been looking that way, but as far as the way my eyes look at the image and that is, I'm looking on again a color calibrated screen. Also, it just feels a bit saturated. I think you could take some of that down. Um, it doesn't really match with say the the blue that I would expect to see in parts of the water. So again, I was, uh, what did I say? 78, I think I was. Yeah, 78. Thank you. Next still in the landscape category is the sea stacks. The sea stacks. Score is 78. Jim. I scored it a 78. Um, I, I enjoy the image. It's beautiful. Boy, I wish I could be there. Uh, anywhere near the ocean is uh, calming. Um, the, the thing that held me back from going into a merit is the perspective on it. Um, not sure what focal length. I like the exposure. I like the, the motion of the water. Uh, everything, but it's just looking like I'm looking down into a tunnel rather than looking at a scene. Um, my suggestion is pull in and pull out a little bit and try and manipulate uh, the image a little bit more if you have some space around it. Uh, I think the composition is good. I just think that that needs, the perspective needs to be fixed. <laughs> the other thing that, that I just noticed here is in the, if you follow the uh, left side of the rock and you go through that passageway there's that white beach or white water on top of that rock if you were to that that just pulled my eye into there real fast um, at first I want to see it, it it looks like a halo but then when you stare at it, it you can tell what it is I, I would take that knock that down if you can but other than that I think uh, it's a it's a beautiful scene I uh, scored it a 78. Kim, can I toss something in? Sure. Yeah, uh, everything Jim just said, but the the center island, the rocks at the bottom you don't need, but the center island, I can see you're processing through the trees. Um, whatever you did to the sky did not affect between some of those leaves, and it is way brighter next to some of those branches as you go through the trees. Zoom in and, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, I'm a 78, by the way. 
Thank you. Next is still in the landscape category. Out of mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Out of mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Score is an 81. Steve. Um, okay. So I'm a 79 on this. And if I were to rescore it again a minute after I did, I would lower that actually. Uh, just to the left of his right shoulder, there's a dot in the sky. You need to take that out. And that it, the, the left of the entire MLK statue has a bright, 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 bright white line running down it. Um, you got you to gotta clean that up. Some presentation would be nice. So if this is somebody new to competitions, putting some matting around it, maybe a key line that ties in would be nice. But the thing that really kept me from going into a merit category is simply your angle of attack. This is Martin Luther King. If you're going to make him look like a superhero and you're going to shoot up on him, then shoot up on him. Make him larger than life, literally with your camera angle. If you look at the right hand side, you kept the inscription. That's great. You can barely read it, but it's there. Um, but that accentuates that the lines in the walls are not true. If you were to perspective correct this, where you were looking straight at him and those lines were straight, the symmetry, I think, would bring balance to the picture. You're kind of in between. He's not strong like Superman looking up, but I'm, it's not true and I'm aware of it. Same thing with the passageway that you come through. I love walking through that passageway. It's amazing. But if Martin Luther were moved closer to the inscription and away from that one set of rocks behind him, that would also give him as a human a little more separation. I will say this. I love your use of noise in the image. It really adds a feel to it and a texture to it that I dig. I'm at a 79. Thank you. Our next still in the landscape category is Maui Sunset. Maui Sunset. Score is an 80. Steve. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Steve, you're the last one. Let me give this one to Michael. Sure, Too sure. Because I was 115 on this one. So <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was right at, um, I think, where the score came out at. I was right at 80, and I gave this one a merit partly because. I want to be there right now, given that we're getting snow here in Colorado tonight. So that the the, the warmth, the, the the way this image makes me feel, I think that it's got a lot of really positive things going for it. Um, if if there were a couple things that I would you know maybe do differently, and I don't not not standing right there, but I'm just kind of imagining when I when I look at it, the um you know the the uh, part of the the attention here is right there in the center that tree right in the there in the middle if that could somehow be a little bit off center i don't know if that would be by stepping a little bit maybe to your left and putting the angle over on that direction and have that be kind of not just right there in the dead center and then in doing that you might be able to maybe not or exclude from the frame some of what i see over on the lower right some of the the, the green grasses over there, the way that the light's hitting those, those are kind of pulling me over in that direction. Um, so I think maybe just, I, I like to say, I, I like the tones, I like the colors, 
I'd like to, I definitely would like to be there right now. Um, but just maybe a little bit different perspective of, and, and maybe it's not, you know, cropping it differently, but maybe if you had the ability, uh, again, not, not being there right now and not knowing what flexibility you had there, but if you could maybe move just several feet to the left and kind of change that composition. But I, again, I was at 80. I think it's a beautiful image. Thank you. Next, still in the landscape category is Washington Monument. Washington Monument. Score is 79. Jim. I scored it an 81. Um, I love it. I think it's great. Um, I think I would have gone higher if that on the left hand side, up about two thirds of the way up, that area that's white and black that looks like lattice work of some kind, if that was dark, that would just funnel my eye right into the uh, the monument and I would work I would work the, the upper part of the monument a little up little to give it a little more texture it just loses texture as it goes up um, but I scored it an 81 I think it's well done thank you so Kim can I add one quick one sure everything he said but I wish there was a little more room at the tip of the the monument and I would do, again, you can do this in this category, take that light pole out at the bottom, but I got to give the maker credit, which is what I really wanted to say. And that is, we always say when you have an iconic subject, how do I photograph it differently? Mm -hmm. And you found a way to photograph it differently. And I wish I was you in that sense. I gave it a 79. Thank you. Still in landscape category, America. America. Score is 78, Steve. So I'm the bad guy on this one. Uh, my apologies in advance, I gave it a 75. <clears throat> so this image, I love. I would love to have this on my phone. I would love to show it to my friends. That does not necessarily equate to gonna do good in a competition. So to do good in a competition, it needs some work. The bright palm tree on the bottom that has an up light on it, remove that. It's black all around it. That's an easy one. The building, again, strangely, your eyes always go to the most saturated or the brightest spot in an image. But in this particular case, <clears throat> excuse me, the entire image has something for me to look at. And yet all I noticed when it first came up, the impact I got was what's the giant black box in the bottom right-hand corner? That's all I see is that. In fact, the sky is so bright and blown out that I've even lost detail and contrast in those, those fireworks that I know are there. So process it in a way to bring out the richness of the fireworks. That sky in the background was black. <clears throat> so show me that. And there is nothing saying that you can't recreate that bottom side for what might be there. You, you could try and choose a different angle, get some different lights, clone something, build a skyline there. You can do that, right? Um, but here, it's a great one to have on your phone. I'm a 75. Thank you. Our last image in the landscape category, World War II Memorial. 
World War II Memorial. Score is 82. Michael. Yeah, yeah. So I was in the merit category, but a little bit below the average. I was at 80. Um, for, I, there, there's a lot of things I really enjoy about this one. Uh, great job of catching again, the symmetry in this case, having that subject in the center works really well, especially with the way that um, I'll say the symmetrical, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the fountains in that are evenly positioned over on the sides, the, um, the other uh, monuments that are a long left and right edge over there are nicely positioned. Um, couple things that held me back were one, Again, if you, I think if you put a um, a presentation around it, a a border, a key line around this, I would go a little bit higher with that. And I was just looking on my screen. I, I can't, and it may not be there, but it looks like there might be a little bit of banding across parts of the sky up there and kind of that upper uh, cloud area and that. But aside from that, I like, I love the, you know, what you did with the sun, really tight aperture to get that um, sunburst. And the uh, the rays that are coming off of there, uh, the monument works really well. And the, the the leading line that's in front of it, that's coming off the sidewalk, that goes right to it and uh, holds your eye right, it puts your eye right into where you want the viewer to look. So overall, great image. I was eighty. I might be a little bit lower. Low. I could probably go a little bit higher on this one. Kim, what did what was the final score? Final score was an eighty-two. Uh, I want to challenge it, please. Okay. I think it needs to go up into the excellent category. And let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. The maker took their time to create this image. Look at the symmetry in this. Look at where the pillars on the left line up. The monument in the center, the water level is the same on both sides. That's not easy to do. I do this for a living. And let me tell you, that's a great symmetrical design. Okay, the lines on the, the, the two lines in the center, uh, a little bit, but the, the flags in the exact same position, the exact, at the, at the same angles, um, the water at the, at the same levels. The individual took a lot of time and effort to work at making this. Um, and then the exposure, obviously, to get the rays coming up like this. I don't, Mike, I don't see the banding that you're seeing on my screen, but... Um, I still, I think this is for, for a black and white image, the matting, I can go either way, but when this came around, I just went, wow, because my eye just was captivated by it. So I, I would like to see you guys come up to an 85, please. Steve, any comments? Yeah. First of all, Michael, where did you see the band? I, I see it a little bit. And hopefully it's not my monitor doing something to me. Just up in the uh, upper clouds, there's just like a little bit of. Oh, oh, I got you. It looks okay. like a little bit of banding. And I'm going to say kind of the upper eighth part of it or whatever in that from the middle over to the okay. right. But it's it's, so, not, it's not pronounced. It's not big, but. Yeah, for me, I'm, I'm thinking that may just be some artifact from the sun rays coming through. Look, I, I'm an 80 on this image mm -hmm. and I counted. So first of all, this is a gore. If you ever get the chance to go here, this is a gorgeous monument to, to mm -hmm. photograph. And the way you photographed it, as Jim said, with. The flag, not only are the flags, I just realized this, okay. Uh, not only are the flags in the perfect spot, but they're both hanging in. Whereas mm -hmm. you would think the wind would hang one, both of them to the right or both of them to the left. They're both hanging in. I love that actually. Mm -hmm. um, the starburst, great choice. Your, your leveling of your lines is insane. You did miss one thing that I pulled immediately when I counted the, the pylons mm -hmm. in the back, the, the actual monuments in the back. There's 10 on both sides. But each one has the like wreath ring and then little pieces that stick out from the side. And on the left-hand side, I can see the piece sticking out from the next one. 
So I'd pull that down. Um, does that pull it down below an 85 all the way to my 80? Probably not. Part of the problem that I had actually was the trees on the right-hand side. Um, the sky is so even, the noise is so even, but behind that right-hand fountain, behind those trees is pure white. As though this was overexposed and you pulled it down and you didn't get between those trees. I find that it would be very unnatural that there was suddenly this giant bright spot hmm. there when the, we know where the sun is. So, and it's not happening on the left-hand side. It could be natural. I can go up, but those are the things that held me down to an 80. <clears throat> Michael, any comments? No, th th those are all great points. And uh, thank you for challenging this one. I, I was a <clears throat> bit low with, um, with my score now with, with, with some of those points. Like I say, you know, the, the, the lack of a presentation is, I can get past that because that's something that the maker can go, go do and correct. Um, and, and but I would suggest they do it next time. Correct. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And 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 I and I agree with uh, Steve's comment that um, that banding it, it it's not so significant that that could actually just be a natural just the way that the the light is, especially with a tight aperture like that and the rays coming up and through there and that that could just be a something natural. So I I I, I don't want to um, to take the score down as a result of that. So I could I can come up on this one for sure. <laughs> Great. One last point, Steve, um, that where you where the point just to the right of the fountain, where you see that whiter spot the trees. Yeah, if you go to the left of it, you can see cloud formation. So I can believe that potentially there's a cloud there. So Good point. But but your your point is well taken. That could have and that little that little edge on the left. Yes, I agree. That I didn't see that. So. But and I they could like crop the that in because it it is far more room next to the the yeah. the inward fountains. They could crop that easily. But but this yeah, is, again, I I'm too low, no question. This is excellent image. And and, and I do want to thank Jim also for bringing up the fact that the, the maker definitely took some time setting this up. Not only the time setting it up, but waiting for you only have a few seconds to get that sunburst with where that sun is. So everything was set up. Clearly, they spent a lot of time lining that up and waited for that sun to get right and in that probably place. removed people i could have been yeah 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 so so thank you for bringing that up jim the, the, that, that that's a great point as far as the effort that went into this one okay judges if you could rescore <clears throat> New score is an 85. Congratulations to the maker. Good challenge. Good challenge. Yes. Okay, we are going to take a 10 minute break, give our judges a chance to stretch their legs, and we'll be back in 10 minutes. I'd like to welcome us all back after the break from our judges. We do need to take care of the 78, 79 um, images for review in the landscape category. Our first image for review, and just a reminder to the judges, a 79 keeps it at its remaining, at its original score, an 80 brings it up to the merit. The first one for review in landscape is Slice of Ice with an original score of 78. Is that showing? I don't see it yet. It should be occasionally. There you go. I see it now. Okay. And just a 79 or an 80, right? Correct. 79 keeps it at its original score. 80 brings it up to a merit. You got it. Thank you. Jim, we're waiting on your score. Yeah, Kim, would you reset? It's not okay. allowing me to. I'm going to uh, clear I the gotta... scores and all the judges will have to rescore, please. It stays the same. The next image with an original score of 79 is Sisters Face the Storm. <clears throat> Stays the same. 
Next is an original score of 78, the C stacks. Score remains the same. Next with a score of 79 is Washington Monument. And it stays the same. We're now going to be moving into the regular division nature category. And our first image is blush, blush. Score of 78, Jim. Score of 78. Um, I love it. Would love to go higher, but the point of focus has me confused. Um, the petal that's standing up next to the two pink is tack sharp. The water, if you come down to the left, the water droplet on the next leaf down below is tack sharp to one of the bottom sharp, but the, the center of the image is not. And the on the right, the petal that is first one out from the bud or the center is sharp, but the petal, the center is not. And that has me troubled. That that I'd want I want to see that center um, is, as sharp. Uh, maybe clean up some of the little artifacts that are running around a little darker artifacts that would help raise it too. But I, but I love the concept of what the maker is trying to do um, going from light to dark uh, is real powerful. Maybe a key line around it separation somehow. Uh, the, well, I, now I see the red key line, but it's a little bit too soft. Maybe bring it out just another point or two. Uh, I scored it to 78. Thank you. Continuing in the nature category, early morning flight. Early morning flight. Score of 81, Steve. So I'm an 83 on this image. It's interesting to me that I'm so much higher than what it ended up, but there are some things that held me from going higher. Uh, first of all, the mat is almost, I, I, I don't think I've ever said this before. The mat's too small. It, it's almost a distraction of the black line around it because it, it's not part of the image. It's not incorporating the image. And yes, while that's a minor thing, that is presentation and it does matter to an extent. Also the key line to me is kind of a, a mismatch, but the image itself, I love this image. I love where you've got the, the subject left to right. I love the, the stripes and the wings. I love the, ex, the, the uh, focus. I love, love, love the reflection. However, I wish that reflection wasn't so tight to the bottom and I don't need as much room at the top. If you lifted this up to where they were, not necessarily on a rule of third, but where that top bird was closer to the top rule of third, I think it would be nicer. You could even move them left a little bit. Like you could crop the bottom down. I mean, I'm sorry, crop the top down, make it a little more pano so I can see him flying or he or she flying quickly. That would be fantastic. The other thing that held me back is the front edges of the wings are clipped. Uh, or at least very close to being clipped if they're not. Um, and I would love to see that down just a hair. I don't mind the specular highlight, but I'd, I'd like to see it down just a hair, but really, really nice job, 83. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll make a comment real quick. And I, I was 81 and I think I could go a little bit higher for all of the points that Steve brought up. And and I, I was just going to say, congratulations to the maker for this. This is a difficult shot. I, I photograph you know, birds, birds in flight sometimes. And when they're that white, it is the, the fact that a little bit of that might be clipped. Uh, it's so hard to avoid that when that sun is hitting a white subject like that and so forth. But the same points that you brought up, the 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 the, the border was a, a bit dark for me, and is and also, and again, hard to do. I don't know if you could have done this, but um, if there was the ability to get the full reflection there, just where you know yeah. part of that is cut off. But uh, great points that you brought up. Like I said, I'm just kind of saying the same thing, but. I, I do want to congratulate the maker because that is that, that's not an easy shot. White birds on a, a other color tones and, and that in the scene, it's so easy to blow that out. And you came pretty close to doing a, a great. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great job. And the one thing I forgot to mention, I meant to though, is the fact that the the beak doesn't intersect that wing. Uh, you know, the, the you I'm sure you did a burst here. I don't know what frame rate you were at, but the fact that the frame you chose had the wing below the beak, had it intersected the beak, I would have gone way down probably. So well done. Thank you. Moving on, we have still in the nature category, gold dust woman, gold dust woman. Score of 77, Michael. Okay, and I was at 77, so I was right there on with the group. Um, yeah, a couple of things. I, I, I like the idea here. I, I, insects are difficult. They're moving. I'm sure this was, uh, was, was moving around. But part of what I was looking at is, to me, um, like where that insect is, it looks like it's a little bit out of focus, and what's in focus is sort of the top of that um you know flower that it's sitting on it it that the focus just missed it, it's it's not far off but it looks like it in on my screen it looks like it just missed and then um you know just kind of looking around the scene and and I know how hard this is depending upon what where this plant was situated and if there's a way to get a different composition I don't know but there's just some other distractions in there that are bright within the scene the um kind of that lower left where that pod is where it's uh, a much brighter color. And then same thing as some of the things that are going on over there to the right. Again, I don't know if there's the ability to get a different composition where you could avoid those. Um, but again, it was, a, th those were the couple things that, that held me back, but um, I like the idea that the other part of it too is, and again, something you can't control right at that moment, but the um, part of that left wing is being covered by that swirly, part of that plant. So it, it, again, it's kind of pulling me in other directions other than what the subject is. Thank you. Continuing in nature, straight as an arrow, straight as an arrow. Score of 84, Jim. Um, I scored it an 85, and I would like to challenge it up into the excellent category. This is stunning. Straight as an arrow, what can you say? I mean, it's everything is there. The the whites, the highlights are not blown out. The grays, their, their detail in the shadow, the composition. I love the, the uh, key and the matte 
uh, around it. Uh, I'd love to hear from the other guys as to why you wouldn't go up to 85. I scored at 86, so I'm already with you. Um, I, for for, the, for those reasons, I, it, it, <laughs> photo, photographing uh, birds in flight, I do some of that. This I thought was very well done, very sharp. Yep. Uh, you want to catch wings up or wings down, and got one of those in here. Um, I like the presentation on it. I I felt the 86 was was justified in my case. So I'm the bad guy here. I'm an 80. <clears throat> so couple of things. One, <clears throat> excuse me, while I understand, yeah, it's sharp, um, wings down. I mean, it is straight as an arrow. That's amazing. Fantastic capture. But as an image in a comp, this didn't come up and give me any impact, really. Um, the sky behind it is there. It, almost just like a, a matte blue background. The, the matting, to me, is <clears throat> drawing my attention kind of away from the bird and the bird is dead center in the frame uh you know literally balanced across the center line in the frame it just seems to me i don't want to say the word seems the the feeling and impression that i get from this image is this was the easy processing and crop of what is a great capture but i don't necessarily think that you know we're jumping into excellent category when you take in everything the bird itself the capture of the bird itself excellent but everything else about it to me doesn't lift it up to excellent but i can i i see your points and i can come up some definitely okay if you judges if you could rescore well actually jim do you have any uh rebuttal before this rescoring i'm trying to i'm trying to, <laughs> to process what Steve said, and I agree with you, but this has, to me, has tremendous, if it had been a, a, a Thunderbird uh, or a Navy jet, or it, it would have a similar, this has a, a powerful, just, I, it's just, just a, a power about it that, that really captures me. Or at least Good analogy, actually, me, I like so. that. Sure. So, uh, Let's rescore. New score is 86. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank Good you, challenge. Yeah. Moving, moving along, still in the nature category is family outing. Family outing. <clears throat> Score is 81. Steve. Okay, so I'm a 78 on this image, and I'll, <clears throat> excuse me, I would have been uh, probably around an 82 had it not been for a couple of things that absolutely leaped at me. There are some artifacts in this image that you just have to get rid of. Upper left hand corner, right next to the key line, there is a straight line of white as though somebody cloned out some pixels with one dark one right in the middle. And then in front of our swimming friends on the left hand side, all the way down, it almost looks as though those would connect to the top. There was something in the image that they cloned out, like a pole or something. It's at the bottom left, it's in the middle of the water. There's two of them in the middle of the water. Um, yeah, hmm. there's, there's something that's been taken out of this image, uh, that, yeah, if I can see that, in fact, now that I really look even where it was, something was done, there's a little weird twist in the clouds in the mountains too. Um, like the upper left-hand corner is almost a, there's a straight line of dark clouds to white clouds. Yeah. You got to clean that up. Uh, if also... I can see your, if I can see your processing, I'm not going to merit it. I'm a 78. 
there's also a tremendous number of black dots scattered throughout the entire image. The Correct. I look at it. Um, uh, and and that's the pro handle. that's their processing. Um, it's the reason the fish are so, you know, they're not fish; they're mammals, probably, but uh, are are so gunked up and and overly dark too. And the halo, the halo. Can 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 we rescore this? <laughs> Yes, I'd like I'd like to rescore it. Yeah, I was I was too high at eighty. So you want to challenge it? Yes, you can challenge it up or down. So yes, um, let's cha let I'll challenge it, and okay. I think we everything's been said. We just need to rescore. It. <clears throat> the new score is seventy eight. Yeah, I think the maker I, I think the maker has something really good here, but. But that I saw that bottom left problem. I didn't see the top right one. But but the now the dots that are starting to come up. I don't know what that what that is. But that's not natural. And and you've got a tremendous opportunity with this image. I think. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't get discouraged by the fact that we went down that whole left side from the bottom all the way to the top of the image on the left side. Whatever you did there, there is no substitution for zooming in yeah. and fixing it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Continuing in nature, there's always one. There's always one. Score of 82. Steve, if you could comment. Yep. To the maker of this image, <clears throat> high five. <laughs> uh, verbal high five. Just an amazing capture. And what's so awesome, I kind of want to think you flipped him upside down in post. Uh. You, you may <laughs> not have, but my God, if you had flipped him upside down in post, another high five. Because that juxtaposition, the lighting ju juxtaposition of there the upside down one is bright and i can see all of this amazing focus and detail like spot on and it's just as deep as i want but the back of it's not in focus and the other ones are darker and there's almost a little halo as though you put a vignette around that front one which i don't mind i love it all the way to your <clears throat> shadowed matting which in all honesty i usually hate shadowed matting but my gosh here you just did it right however <clears throat> i'm an 83 I would have gone above an 85 on this. I probably would have hit an 86, 87 on this if you had cleaned it up. If you look at the front one that's in focus, there is right in the front a very dark black dot on the edge. It's probably natural. Moose Peterson would tell me, hey, that's the animal. You don't clone it out, you leave it. But this is an image competition. This isn't documentary. So, <clears throat> uh, and the category that you're in as well. I would remove that. And then as well, there is stuff floating in the water and specifically the dark spot behind the one in the back left it's super dark back there i'm not sure the darkness bothers bothers me as much as the fact that there's lighter stuff floating in front of the dark um i i see them almost as sensor spots although they're not they're probably just something floating in the water clean it up mm -hmm. this is a an amazing image upper right hand corner is too dark too but other than that 83. Thank you. Moving along, still in the nature category, life rotates. Life rotates. Score is a 79. Um, Jim. Uh, score to 78. Um, I like the concept. I like what the maker's trying to do. Um, the key line, I think, is a little strong, but and maybe not the right color. If you'd used a brown rather than a gray, I think it would have helped it a little bit. But 
the other problem that I see is that the saturation is a little too high and, and definitely the light is way too flat. Um, not sure where the light source is, but I'm having a real hard time finding any key shadows other than the one down in the center. Uh, sharpness is pretty good and it's okay in the bottom right, but it's good up in the top and the center, but, I, but the lighting is just off. I think it needs, I think the maker did a good job in, in the composition, but um, need to change the light source or wait for another time when there's a little more shadow, a little more depth and dimension. Shadows create depth and dimension, as we all know. Uh, I scored it a 78. Thank you. And our final image in nature is Calliope. Calliope. score is an 80. Steve. So <clears throat> I had a slump. I'm back. I got the right score this time. <laughs> 80. Um, I would have gone higher on this mainly because your execution of the photograph of the flower is really well done. Mm -hmm. the, the depth of field is right. The, I, I love the lighting and exposure mostly. <clears throat> It's clear the light's coming from the right-hand side. I wish that there was a little bit more texture to the lighting, which you could do with dodging and burning if it wasn't there. You could massage this, as it were, in post and bring out a little bit extra <clears throat> 3D effect to it. However, it's dead center. I don't need any of that bright stuff on the bottom left. I don't need probably half of the left-hand side of the image. In fact, the big blob on the left it to where it changes color dead center, I'd bring the left hand side in, bring the bottom up a little bit, have mainly the leaf and the flower hanging down. I think there is an image in here. I think this isn't the image that's in here, though. The image that's in here is smaller than this, um, but very, very nicely executed on the shot itself. It's the choices made. I mean, you could argue in camera as well with your framing, but look, you, you can change this afterwards. Your choices afterwards, I think, could use a little refining and you'd be on to something. Maybe. Okay, we have three images for review in the nature category. Our first one is blush with an original score of 78. Remember, judges, a score of 79 brings it up to, 79 keeps it at the original score and 80 brings it up to America. and it stays the same. Our next image for review is family outing with an original score of 78. It stays the same. And now we have life rotates with an original score of 79. and it remains the same. We're now moving on to the photographic artist category in the regular division. Our first image is Broncos, Broncos. Image scores an 82. Michael. And I was at 82 on this one. So um, uh, I guess I got that right there as far as uh, all of us. Um, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, let's see. The, the 
the matting around it looks like there's a little bit of a key line and i don't know if it's just that it's a, up against a dark i i guess that the, the entire matting is the um all that dark part above and below right that i think so okay correct yeah, I'll, I'll go with that okay thank you um so no I'll, I'll take that back i i see that i don't see the key line very well in some cases key lines can kind of overdo it in this case i think maybe a little bit more on there would kind of show me where that where that frame begins on that um uh but i you know as far as that i think there's so many positives to this one in my mind and that I, I like the lighting on all of the um subjects the teammates and that uh i i think you know as far as you know the background and the way that they were positioned in there and um i, I like the color palette that's used in there the the nets back in there and that the lights like I said, there's a lot of that I that I really like. I went into that merit category. I mean, if there if there's a couple things, and I don't know if this is you know possible to shoot it a little bit differently in that, but just kind of where their legs are cut at the bottom. Some of them are cut right at the knee, but again, they're all different heights, so it's kind of hard to you know avoid cutting right at at, at the limbs for all of them in that. But um, that's just kind of a minor point. But again, I I, I think this was very well done. Kim, can I say two quick things? Very quick. Yeah, uh, just to remind the maker, making this square doesn't help when when judging, and this is not your fault, but when we are judging remotely, we're on screens that are 16-9 or 16-10 ratio. You could cut that mat top and bottom in half and it would fill our screen. Right now, it's not. Um, the other thing is the guy in front of the C in Broncos and the guy to the left of the B in Broncos are the perfect example of what's happening across the line the hair cutout isn't good. The assembly of this is amazing. I'm at an 80, this probably deserves more than that, but the hair cutout, specifically the guy to the left of the B and his right ear near the, the, the net um, is just a really rough edge on all of their hair. Go in and refine the mask and get me some strays just to make it look more, less cut. That's it, sorry, 80. Good point. Thank you. Continuing in photographic artist, we have Secret Garden. Secret Garden. Score is 81. Jim, if you could comment. I scored an 82. Um, I'd like to commend the maker. Um, I challenge any of us to do that well, uh, <laughs> to compose that. That's pretty well done. There, there are several things that I that I notice. I mean, I do a lot of compositing in my in my business, and um, and, and I must say the maker did a really good job. Uh, the key line. Okay, I can live with that. Maybe just a point or two too strong. But uh, a couple of things: uh, the ivy in the foreground. Let's let's walk through it. The ivy in the foreground. You the 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 hill or the dirt is out of focus, but the ivy's in. Blur that ivy down in the foreground just a little bit. And then one thing that caught my eye in this is up on the left uh, rope of the swing, where you added the color to it. The top flowers are not lit and every other one is in the whole on the whole string so it, it, that just the ones in the bottom or in the center are really bright the ones at the top don't have the same intensity as the ones on the right the ones on the left versus the ones on the right um, i would say bring that up and tone down those trees in the back just a little bit but uh, i scored it an 82 i think it's a very well done composition and by the way, I'm an 82 too, but if you look at the vines, left and right side, den center, it's the exact same portion of your, your vine shot. Mm -hmm. Like exact. Pretty close, yeah. 
and I was 79 and I was too low. I, I would go higher than that, um, especially uh, to Jim's point, you know, on, on uh, let's see me try and do that. And when I look at the images down below that went into it, it, it really is a good job. So I, I should have been a little bit higher than my score. Brad's going to make a comment too. Just real quick, judges, I want to remind you, we have like, uh, I think 15 photos left in a short amount of time. So we need to keep it down to one judge, one quick comment. Thank you. I understand. Our last image in the photographic artist category is game day, game day. Score is 81. And Steve, since you got it right, can you please make a comment? Yeah, I'm an 81 and I'm going to be really blunt up front. I almost scored this way lower than that because of the matting. I didn't. I almost never would. But this matting just draws everything away from the image. You're, you're ruining your image here by adding twice as much black than your actual photo. So yeah, I would not do that again if it were me. Other than that, this is an amazing composite, amazingly well done. I probably would have gone higher than an 81 if it wasn't for the same issue I said before, and that is cut out the hair. This time you got some scragglies, assuming it might be the same person. You did get some, some hairs, but they're only big, thick ones. And I, it's really obvious to me that it was cut out. And there's no reason for that. That's an easy fix with today's software and the complexity you've, you've done here. So well done fine tune you'd be right on 81. <clears throat> now moving on to the regular division photojournalism category. Our first image in photojournalism is street artists. Street artists. Score of 77, Michael. Yeah, I was I was probably a little bit too high. I was at uh, 80, just um, enjoying the story of it. Um, but uh, so I put it slightly into the merit category, a um, couple of things. And, and I realize as photojournalism, you can't, you know, uh, it takes certain things out, certain distractions out and so forth. And that's so why I did not did not penalize it for that. It, to me, I. And, and, and 80 is probably a little bit high, but uh, I, I think the, you know, there's parts of that sky that are blown out and you certainly could uh, get the exposure, right? That That's something that uh, you know, with photojournalism, you just make sure you get, again, as it was pointed out earlier on another image and that just getting that exposure, right, I think would have helped on that. Um, you can still change the shadows and highlights. So, so, so part of it was that and just the tones of it are look a little bit off to me in terms of that that sky so it's a little bit blown out the tones look a little bit off um and, and the other the last point i'll make is maybe just a little bit too much sky i think just cropping that down some would would help the image also and bring my eyes more to the story of the the photographers that are up there on the scene uh gentlemen can i ask you a quick question is there anything sharp in the image because it's not on my screen Looks yeah, really I mean, there's really there's flat. some things sharp, but it's not the subject you're looking for. But yeah, I, I I I have a lot I could say on this image, but I know we're short on time. So go ahead. 
moving along in the <clears throat> photojournalism category, man with two asses, man with two asses. I'm sorry. Wow. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> oh, I could have gone south. Um, sorry. Those are burrows. Free. Score of 79, Jim. I scored it an E. Uh, I really like it. I think uh, uh, being able to, again, find that moment in time, w would I have gone higher? Yes, had, it, had they been back in the frame just a little bit, uh, but the maker took, uh, you know, took care to set the camera up so all the lines are square and, and straight and you've got leading lines in it and everything. I think, uh, and really the, the, the burrows or the, the donkeys or whatever you want to call them uh, are, uh, are the subject matter. So uh, uh, the guy pulling the lanyards is just, I think, added to it, but, the, but they're the subject. And as I say, I scored it an 80. I, I like the image. Well done. And, and Jim, just to clarify, those are called asses. <laughs> Two of them, right? Next, still in the photojournalism category, <laughs> is going up, going up. Score is 79, Steve. So I'm an 81 on this one for one reason. I, I normally probably would not merit this image. Uh, I'm stuck now on, on when Jim said earlier, if this bird was a plane, <laughs> and now I can't get out of my head, this is the plane that we were talking about. So perfect timing. The plane's not sharp. Um, I wish it was. You could capture this sharp, photojournalism or not you got a right moment like this is the perfect moment but it's not necessarily the perfect day like last year's air show may have been better because there may have been clouds right so while this is an amazing moment and a, a adequate capture from a focus and technical point of view that doesn't necessarily make it a winning uh, uh photojournalism image next year might be better the year before might be better but to the maker you did better probably than i would do so congratulations on that. And, and it's a merit to me. It's an 81. Continuing our final image in photojournalism is water bombs away. Water bombs away. <clears throat> Score is 81. Michael, since you got it right again. Okay, I got, I got, I got that right. Um, yeah, 81, and I, I'm looking at it, and, and the more I look at it, to be honest, I like it more and more on that. Um, I, it, I think it's just a fantastic story. Uh, trying to keep my comments short here, and that I like the tone, I like the colors of it, I like the position of the helicopter. I like the uh, the fact that as it's dropping the water, that is not yet intersecting the land that's down below it. We can see the target that he's going after, the the flames that are down below there, and you know just the 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 horrible part of the scene is that we see uh, the devastation that's taking place to the hillside again. A big part of the story. There is a dust spot up in the upper left hand corner that I'll point out. I didn't. 
you know, I, I, I didn't necessarily have that impact my score, but I still feel it's a merit image. I would go back and clean that piece of it. Oh, wait, this is photojournalism. Can you take dust spots out on that? I should know the answer to that. Technically, no, but, okay. but they can clean their lens at, or sensor at <laughs> yeah. <any> time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go. So so I, I'll, I'll take that comment back, but uh, great image, great story. We have two images for review in the photojournalism category. The first one is Man with Two Asses with an original score of 79. Stays the same. And going up with an original score of 79. <clears throat> stays the same. We are now moving into the regular division portrait category. Our first image is the time traveler. The time traveler. Score is 83. Jim, if you could comment. I scored it in 84. Um, I really like the composition. I like the uh, lighting. I like the fact that the uh, immediately draws to, to the face, the lighting position. Highlights could be toned down on the skin a little bit, but then again, the title leads me to back to some of the movies and, and TV programs about this kind of thing. And so the lighting that they use, the, the areas that held me back, um, the, the writing on the wall on the left uh, off of her right elbow, uh, that in the blue there, that kind of was a distraction. And the fact there's no detail in the boots, uh, to I can't see her left foot. Um, so other than that, I think uh, if you can bring those areas up, I think you've got and tone some of the highlights down, bring down the, the sheen on the knees, those kind of things. I think you've got a, a very good uh, image here. I, th I scored it in 84. Thank you. Next, still in portrait, is feeling free. Feeling free. Score is 83. Steve? So I'm an 84 on this image. I love so much about this image, like your timing, your, uh, I love the light. I, I mean, the inside of her left arm and maybe that, that up in the air uh, point shoe, a little bit hot, same as her calf that's up in the air. You could bring those down so that, you know, they didn't draw my attention away from her face. You might even, you know, work on getting the face a little bit bright. Um, the back of her left hand is too dark to me, but more importantly, while her pose and everything is great and maybe even technically accurate for the move that she's doing, I'm not a dancer, I don't know, the one finger flying out and the hands kind of almost cupped like karate chops seems uh, to take away from the the softness and, and, and breadth and depth of the move. I'd like to see some some softness in the hands there is banding in the upper left-hand corner that you definitely could deal with in post. But other than that, 84 and minor tweaks to, to dodging and burning, et cetera, this had hit an 85 for me easily. Thank you. Next in portrait is Slumbering Cherub. Slumbering Cherub. <clears throat>
image scores an 84. Michael. Sure. Yeah, I was I was a little bit low on this one, and it could probably come up a little bit. Um, so I had an 82. I, just so that you know, Michael, before you go, I do want to challenge this kid. Okay. Okay. I, I had it. Okay. Uh, I had an 82 to me, and I'll I'll try and keep my comments quick so we can get through that. Um, a little bit uh, strong on the key line for me. I, I like it, but I maybe a little bit darker on that. Uh, I love the the lighting on the face. The, the I think that's just beautiful. I also like the um, uh, the depth of field. I think was good. We can see the detail down below, but not too much of it. Uh, it was more, I guess, the presentation and a little bit light on the hands, but you can't do too much with that. But I, I, I think it's it, it the, the the you know the the um, I'll say the clothing, the 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 basket and so forth. I think are beautiful. I'll, I'll let you challenge because I can see myself going higher. So I'll let you go ahead. So. Uh, I'm an 86 on this image, and I'd love to get it up into that excellent category. The only problem I have is the key line and the crop really here. I mean, okay, the arm, the hand, maybe a little bit bright, but I'm not asking for a 90. The The left-hand side's too close or you're too loose on the right. I don't need that much top and bottom. This could be a beautiful square crop. The key line's too strong. But every image competition that I do this at, there is a baby image that we all go, oh, it's so cute, but it just didn't get there. In this one, instead of being swaddled so tight that literally it's a picture of a head and a big fluffy blanket, I can see the feet. The hands are actually posed, it almost seems like in a way. The button isn't covered by something. There's little details. The fact that they have the, the shawl or af, you know whatever you want to call it um, come out out of the basket as a baby picture, which I am not an expert at by any means, but for me as a viewer, Everything within that basket, touching that basket is spot on what I want, other than the arm being too bright. It's only the crop. That's where I'm at. 86 for me. Do you have any comments? <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'm willing to go up for sure on that. Thank you. Thank you for the <laughs> challenge, Steve. Okay. If you could rescore. Jim, anything from you? I'm sorry. The, my, my apologies. Uh, I, I can go up. I was in an 84. Uh, the only comment that I would make to the maker is prospectively, they're not, they're not, look at the top of the basket and the bottom of the basket. It's not, the right side looks a little bit sharper than the left side. That tells me that it's just cocked, the camera's cocked a little bit to the, to the basket. So, but, but the I can go up. Focus. <laughs> Baby is tack sharp. It's beautiful. Uh, I think the maker did a great job. Take it to another level. You got a fixed perspective on the basket, in my opinion. Uh, but I'll, I can I can go up. New score is a set. Uh, excuse me, an eighty six. <laughs> I was going to say seventy six, not seventy six. Thank you, gentlemen. No, no, no. Yeah, good job. Thanks. Good challenge. Continuing in portrait, we have Little Bear. Little Bear. Score is 81. Jim. I scored it an 82. Love it. I think it's great. I like the way the maker used the, the uh, plants on both the left and the right to frame it. A um, little concerned about the plants in the foreground on the right hand side being in focus as opposed to the one behind it being out of focus. That doesn't relate quite to me. Um, but the the only other thing is it, it, you I think it needs a little more of a vignette, bring it down and I'd like to have the dog looking at the camera rather than off camera. Um, but the detail in the fur is is excellent. Uh, I think where the animal is positioned based on the composition, I think is good. Could you crop it out a little bit? Sure, you could crop that whole right side to the edge of those those flowers. 
um, it, and that would strengthen it, I, in my opinion. And then darken down the background a little bit, bring out the detail a little bit more, tone it down the hair on the fort on the chest of the the, the dog. And you've got a great image. I scored it in eighty two. Thank you. Continuing in portrait, doll baby, doll baby. Score is 82. Steve, since you got it right again. <clears throat> I'm on a roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm an 82 on this image. And mainly I'm at an 82 on this image because I'm imagining I'm the mom. Um, there is a mother that saw this image and went, oh, can I please get that on a 20 by 24? Something like that. Uh, so from that point of view, I love it. The dog's paw coming out, I love. The dog looking at the camera, I love. The bat, you know, the prop is fantastic, actually. The, the back of the dress, the arm, I think, are a little too bright. The face, I don't mind so much. I think the forehead and very near the ear could probably come down a little bit. My biggest thing holding me back is, uh, and by the way, I actually like how much white space, quote unquote, you left around her. You didn't crop it too tight. Thank you for that. I love that it's open and there's room. But I really hate the softbox catch light. Her eyes are super dilated. Like it was really dark in this room. And then you popped a flash and it's bigger than her pupil. Uh, if you took the time to make that look like more natural of a catch light, I think it would be more flattering than this giant bright white spot in the middle of both of her eyes. I don't mind it so much on the dog, um, but that's it. I'm in an 82. There, there are two other things I'd like to point out real quick. The pose on her feet where you can see the heel of her left foot behind the right foot point. that needs to be fixed. Yeah. And there's a spot on her dress just below her elbow that needs to be cloned out. Well, well caught. Mm -hmm. Continuing in portrait. Galane, Galane. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Score is 80. And let's see, Michael, if you could comment. Sure. Uh, and I was at 81. So I was, uh, you know, low into the, the merit category. I'll try and be fairly quick with my comments. Um, and some of the points that have been brought up on a couple of these images earlier in that the, 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 the cutout is, is, is fairly clean, is, is maybe a little bit too clean in that on, on the hair and that no, no detail in areas that you would expect to see at least a couple, like we said, flyaways. Uh, you know, the, the positive things that I like about it are, um, I, I like the her, her pose. I like the way they, um, uh, you know, the colors in it, the background, the the lights, the way the eyes kind of move throughout the scene. Uh, it works well for me. The, the, the matting works fine for me. Um, so like I said, I was at, at 81, so in the merit category. Thank you. And moving along in our portrait category, double dog dare you. Double dog dare you. Score is 80. Jim. 
Uh, I scored it at 78, and uh, I commend the, mer the maker. It's very well done from the, a portrait standpoint. The thing that held me back from going in the merit category is uh, you need some light on the on the subject matter. Um, look at the catch lights in the eyes. It appears to be the horizon. Uh, there's no light to open up but the shadows under the 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 uh, the chin or on either side of the ears. It's just it's it's just flat flat um, soft light. Let's put it that way. It needs a little kicker. It needs some. It needs some punch. I like what you did with the background. I like the way the background's thrown out and everything, and the vignette around the the lighter vignette around a dark dog. That's that's good. But you need some. You need some light in there to open it up to give it a little bit of spectral highlight on the hair. Uh, I scored it a seventy eight. Thank you. Still in portrait category. Home run. Home run. Score is 80. Steve. So let me be clear up front. I'm at an 80 on this one. And you're in a portrait category. You're not in a category that is common like was earlier with these shots for compositing. So I'm not necessarily giving you extra score because of an amazing composite job that you're doing on these images. I love what you're doing. I don't know that I could accomplish this. The balls, the perspective of the court, the lighting, the the... I wish the lights in the background, if you're going to do this, I wish they were symmetrical. I've only got half a light on the left and I've got a full light on the right. That would be a nice touch. Again, the matting is, is interesting to me, but what's killing me on these images at this point, especially with this, so many of this style, I, I'm really focused on it now, and that's partially on me, is the hair cutout. This is a portrait. You have assumption in this category. If you read the rules, we assume you have full control over pose and lighting and post-production. And therefore, there is no reason that you don't mask out that hair properly. The whole right side of her head is just cut. Um, and I, I just, I can't go above an 80, even though I want to because of the compositing here, but that's not a part of the portrait. So I'm in an 80. You're so good though. Mm -hmm. Continuing in portrait, decorated man, decorated man. Score is seventy nine. Michael. And my score matched that uh, score of the 79. Um, I like the idea. I like the pose. I like the the arms crossed, the serious look. Um, the couple things that were there is um, I don't know if it, it, a little bit like on the uh, left, the that beam, it's not quite straight up and down. There's a little bit more of a gap down at the bottom than up at the top. Uh, and same kind of thing over on the right side in that. So I think just a little bit of a tilt on the uh, on that horizon deal. Um, the, 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 the line in the back kind of cuts right through his neck. I don't know if there's a way to pose him a little bit differently in that, but that, that line kind of takes me right through, through his neckline. And on his sunglasses, there's a little bit of a glare up there on the, uh, camera, right on the upper right side there. And that, that kind of distracted me when I'm trying to look to his eyes and that part of it, part of it caught my attention. So I was, uh, so, uh, 79, I believe that was, right? So yeah, yeah, 79. Next, still in the portrait category, mother, mother. <clears throat>
score is 84. Jim. I scored it an 84. Uh, great portrait. Great control of subject matter. Great control of light. Great pose. Um, I would take it to a higher category if you pull that light down on the left side. Look at where her eyes are. Her eyes, if you follow her eyes, you're about, if you cut it about half, bring the light halfway down and bring it, you don't need all that space above her head. If you brought that light source down, so it followed her eyes, so she's looking back at the light as opposed to below it. I think that would have pushed this way up into the into the higher 80s, for me at least. Um, the vignette is, is good. It might you could use a little bit of darkening down just a little bit, but I think I think the the concept of what you tried to do is amazing. Just bring that top half down a little, that top section down a little bit, and change the position of the light. You've got a, a winning image there. That's great. I scored it an eighty four. Thank you. Still in the portrait category, I carry my cross. I carry my cross. Can you read, um, I, I just have a question mark on the screen. Okay, let me um, put the, the scores image. and we'll have to rescore. Steve, what happens if I refresh my screen? Because I still see a question mark. You should be able to refresh. You, you, uh, you're talking the scoring screen? No, display screen. The image. Oh, refreshing it should load it. It's a missed, for some reason, the image didn't load. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me know if it doesn't work and I'll try and pull it back up again. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it's coming up. Okay. Score is 78, Michael. Uh, yeah, so I was at 79, just uh, right right in that same range and that just a little bit under merit category, but above, above average. Um, just a couple things on here for me. I, 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 I like the idea. I like what they're what they're doing there. You know, it, part of the distraction for me is just uh, her hair. I don't know if they could kind of move that a little bit so it's not draping, you know, right over the shoulder and that. I guess it's got to, it has to go somewhere, but maybe just kind of pull it where it goes like in front of that shoulder so it doesn't come right across there. Um, you know, as she's pulling that down, like with some of the, the fabric on her uh, dress and that, if maybe just somebody kind of pulls that down on that lower side to remove some of the, the heavier wrinkles in there, I realize there's probably going to still be some, but there's that large wrinkle <laughs> caught right there at the, um, right there at the, uh, right above the waistline. But um, so I was right there at 79, a little bit above, a little bit below merit. And our final image in the portrait category is innocence. Innocence. Score is 80. Michael, no, excuse me, Michael, didn't you do the last one? I, I did, sure. Okay, uh -huh. um, Jim. Uh, I scored a 78 and um, I, while it's 
yes, the baby is innocent. Um, I, I don't like the fact that the child's hands are in the mouth, uh, blocking her face. Uh, the expression is not one of innocence. It's one of wonder, you know, like, what are you doing? Um, the, the gown is, is, I think, too hot. And, and I'm not sure what the, how the effect was created with the halo around it. I get the concept, but there's an inner halo. And then over on the right, it looks like, I don't know what that is. Is that somebody back in there or something? And then the red halo, that's a, a big distraction for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I would I would clean that up. Okay, you want to use the halo? That's fine. I, I can get it. But clean up the edges where the the distractions are, and I'd tone down the uh, the dress dramatically. Um, as far as the hand, I'm not sure what else to do about that. But um, I think uh, those are my comments on it. I scored it a 78. Thank you. We have two images for review in the portrait category. The first one with a score of 79 is Decorated Man. Stays the same. And our next one is I Carry My Cross, an original score of 78. It remains the same. And we have one final category and one final image. Regular division, the wedding category, love you, mom. Love you, mom. Score is 79, Steve. So I'm a 78 on this image. I love the idea of the black and white here. And there's some little choices that you made that I love that, that you, you pulled the train out. It doesn't intersect the carpet and stays on the tile. You know, the carpet that's on the right-hand side, um, the angle of the child, you know who it is. If it were me, I would have loved to have seen all of these blinds evened out. You may not have been able to do that, but it would have been nice if they were all even. What's, what held me back from meriting this and giving a 78, I don't even mind that the outside is blown out. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, my apologies. But the way you converted to black and white with the light, the way it's hitting her face, her where you would put rouge, like below her cheekbone is super, super dark, but right along her hairline is almost a finger wide white line that goes up the hair and across her forehead. It almost looks like makeup from a stage play. Um, then her arm hanging straight like that <clears throat> is making her bicep look unflattering or her tricep look unflattering. Get it away from her body a little bit. Let me see her waist. There's so much potential in the way you shot this. <clears throat> little things would really, really take it up. There's, there's a few other little ones, but I'll, I'll stop there. You get the idea. 78. Thank you. Um, because it is a 79, we need to rescore. If you'd like it to be a merit, give it an 80. If the score is going to remain the same at 79, then a 79. And the image remains the same. That concludes our images. We will now be pulling up. We do not have any tiebreakers to do tonight. So we are just going to be pulling up the images for best of show in each division. So if you give me a minute, I will get those together for the judges and they will see them all on the screen and comment and whittle it down from all of the winners of best of class down to the best of show. Whatever Jim picks works. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <clears throat> And let me just say, Brad. Yes, sir. And and Kim. It's been a while since I've done this for IEPPV. Uh, this was wonderful. Uh, it was so smooth the whole way through. We're 15 minutes late. I apologize, but but um, 
Yeah, this was really super smooth, you guys. That's because you can't shut us up. <laughs> and, and actually, because of the way we're doing this and because everybody's going to see the best of class winners right now, I'm going to announce who the best of class winners are, show them one at a time, and then I'll group them together, the master division <clears throat> and the regular division for best of show. Otherwise, cool. everybody's going to know who the best of class is without it being announced. So I think we should announce that. I need to open it. Sound effects. Welcome to the Alex Trebek stage. So is anyone, are, are you in Colorado um, in person now or are you still doing uh, remote judging and meetings? So, so in Colorado, so we are doing, uh, we've been doing in-person meetings, but we've been doing the hybrid where we have people in, in, in the room and, um, and, and zooming it out also. Okay. Judges, I'm going to interrupt you for a minute. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, Master illustrative best of class winner is two points of view. Bruce Benet. It did not show up on the website, only on your screen share. Yes, it will only show up on our screen share now, so we'll need to. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Get out of um, print competition. So we're done with the print competition side. Then. Yes, we're done with print competition side. Of Sounds good. Thank you. Now in the master landscape category, we have Boomerang Bridge by Craig Stampley. Congratulations, Craig. Craig, great image, dude. Beautiful. The master division nature. Looking for dinner, Bruce Benet. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, my cursor's in the way. In the master photographic artist category, we have Cottontail by Craig Stampley. In master photojournalism, we have Camouflage by Peter Lepshaw. Yeah. Peter, great shot, dude. Yeah. In our master portrait category, we have Little Mischievous, Erica Tinoco. Congratulations, Erica. Right. In our regular division, in our illustrative category, we have Breaking Up, Brad Toms. Congratulations. In our landscape category, we have World War II Memorial. Congratulations, Sergey mm -hmm. Poselski. Did I get that kind of close? Mm -hmm. And by the way, he said he did not have to take people out. He didn't clone people out of the image. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Early morning, we'll do that. Right. In nature, straight in as, a, as an arrow, Kim Shapiro. Yeah, good job, Kim. In photographic artists, we have. Broncos by Megan Flock. Congratulations. In photojournalism, Water Bombs Away, Kim Shapiro. In portrait, we have a Slumbering Cherub, and that is Christine Rothweiler. <clears throat> now I'm going to stop sharing the screen for a minute. And I'm going to put together the master division winners and then pull them all up together. Smile, Brad, you're on screen share. <laughs> <laughs> I have to share now. Okay, why did it not go to this one? There we go. Whoa. These are the six best of class winners for the master's division. So judges, you can um, talk amongst yourselves, figure out 
which one you want to win. So you can either eliminate ones or just say, nope, this one is the winner, however you guys want to work it. So for me, guys, tell me what you think Cottontail can go. Yeah, yeah, I, I would, if, if we're starting to eliminate them, I would take that one off. Agree. You agree, Jim? Jim, you're muted. Are you, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Sorry. Okay. All right. I'd take the children out. I'd take the children. I agree. Which one? The, the children. children. Uh, this is tough. Th 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 yeah, this, this, is where, th this is where it's hard to eliminate any of these ones. For this, for what we're going for here, I love that bridge shot, but I think I would take the bridge out um for me I agree. yeah and, yeah go ahead. okay oh boy i love all three of these you think the eagle go i'm okay with that yeah i would take the eagle one out too okay. it's, it's... <clears throat> um I love these for completely different reasons. <laughs> yes, that's true. But I have to say for me, uh, and uh, like you mentioned the nose earlier on the portrait being photojournalism, I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I, I love the angle, the eyes are so spot on, but I do wish that there had been some detail dodging and burning brought back in the hair, that would have been neat. Um, and part of the watercolor image to me just is so different and so unique it leaps out but the other one has more impact <clears throat> can we do a tie <laughs> no you cannot do a tie you have a tough choice that's why we pay you so much to do this and, and, and when yeah and when they're <laughs> and when they're two completely different images and that that's the problem yeah you're, you're yeah. right and, and and you bring up some good points on the one to the right that the, the impact is so strong and that look in the eyes and the stairs and and the one the the birds i just love the way that this that the high key was done and the way that the shadows flow and 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 that, that's that's one that i think does benefit from the uh, presentation on it as well let me ask this yeah. I'm curious your guys' opinion of this. The one on the right is photojournalism. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, with photojournalism, you're snapping something that is unfolding in front of you to tell its story. You are not involving yourself within it at all, which to me would say this guy happened to look at the photographer as he caught it. If the photographer of this one said, hey, look at my camera while I take your picture, I would argue that's borderline no longer photojournalism. I would pull down the attention to it from that and go with the other one. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If you asked him to look at you like this, that that's no longer capturing a random moment. You became involved. Yeah, but are we are we <clears throat> are we judging the image, or are we imposing our opinion on it? Well, but it's in a category that has rules. Yeah, that's true. And, and 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 we don't know specifically if it was a if it could have been the guy was staring somewhere else and he right just took right it. right and you and you just happen to catch up but the fact that it is looking straight at the camera if i'm going off impact and just shot it. i'm with the guy on the right personally mm -hmm. and what do you say sir mike i i'm 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 leaning towards the one on the left myself. I just, I did it. Great. That one, that one is magical to me. So um, I could go, I could go left. I understand yeah, reasons yeah. for that too. And I could justify a left choice easily. Uh, yeah. I, at last, as Steve said, I like them both for different reasons. Um, <clears throat> the left one is just so unique. Even yeah. their presentation was so in any other image overcooked, but with this image so spot on tasteful, like the, even the inset shadow, you could have changed those settings and screwed it up and they, and they didn't. That's right. There's right. a lot right on that shot. A lot of I'd hang that in my bathroom. Other, a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of Photoshop work where the other one doesn't. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, that, this, is a tough, this is a really tough decision. Um, <clears throat> 
I'm going to say the birds. I'll go birds too. <laughs> Very tough choice. Congratulations to both there. Oh, I mean, yeah. the, the, the fact that we have to have this long of a conversation and go into that, that much discussion says that, um, that, that choice is not easy. No, this is the hardest one I've ever had. For me, what's pulling me probably to say yes to the birds is just that it is so different than anything I've seen tonight mm -hmm. um, yep. or normally see, and yet so tastefully done. You yep. could think it's a painting. Uh, and I would hang this on my wall. Yeah, definitely. Birds. <clears throat> okay, birds it is. Congratulations, best of show, Bruce Benet. For two points of view. Stop share for just a moment. And now these are the regular division mm. best of class winners. So eliminate down to one or just pick your favorite. <clears throat> Whatever Jim says. <laughs> the rocket ship, the jet. <laughs> the bird. It's so difficult. And my, my, well, if you're going to go with one, I, I think I think all of them have, have tremendous merit. Uh, I think the top two, in my opinion, are the strongest. Um, which Which top two? I'm sorry, the uh, the crane and the memorial. So let's let's start here. I think we can remove the water drop and the sports team. Do we agree? Let's go there. Those, those were the two that I was going to say to me. Uh, no, you, dro you dropped out. When I said water oh. drop, I meant the water droplet. I'm sorry. Is that what you meant, Mike? Yeah, yeah I was going to say the water droplet, the one up there that yeah. uh, was still okay, showing. Hold, hold on, let me. It was the two left ones that were on the screen, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Just a moment, I'll get it back. Sorry, Brad, we're almost done, dude. No, you guys are all right. <clears throat> and if we'd done it here, we could have had whiskey together, but nope. <laughs> Okay, so the sports team can go. Yeah, and the droplet. And the, the droplet. droplet. This one up at the top. Yeah. Okay. Um, even though I love the shot, the, the bottom left, the fact that there's that water spot uh, or a sensor spot, I'd pull yeah. that one. Yeah, I, I so much love that story and everything else about it, but I agree. Even where the helicopter is, but I'd pull it out yeah. for this particular scenario. Yeah, um, right, right. Now I'm torn because I love that shot in the middle, but as you know, from what I've said earlier, I don't think it has the impact of what is one of the only baby shots that have really come up that I truly honestly love. Uh, and then there's the memorial. Um, I think it's those two, I think are what I'm looking at. Uh, the two which on the which two? The, 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 the memorial and the baby shot, the infant. Okay, but I know that Jim probably likes the crane. That's two out of three, okay? <laughs> For me, this one is kind of clear. I'm curious. I'm not going to say anything, though. I want to know what you guys say. <laughs> you already did. <laughs> I, go with, just, go with go the ahead, baby. Jim. Go ahead. Go with the baby, in my opinion. Oh, no, I was actually going to say the memorial. <laughs> well, you were. Yeah. But, and and I, 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 again, the baby... The key line is a little bit, it's, it, 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 it's so well done, but I think to, to me, it was the points that we brought up earlier in that with regards to the memorial and that the, the lines, the symmetry, the, um, the timing, how much time the maker put into getting there. Fortunately, didn't have any people that, there to remove it sounds like, but, and, and again, it only had a few seconds to get that sun in that right spot to, uh, to click the shutter right at the right moment. I'm 
That that was the, that the was starburst. The, the, the what Jim mentioned earlier that I cannot not see now. The two flags and the fact they're both hanging towards yeah. the monument. Right. Um, it, I. I would have probably, with my luck, had to have somebody climb the pole and pull the flag that way. <laughs> so, this, so much went right for this person naturally, and they didn't screw that up. They captured it that way. Yeah. Um, so, for me, that's that that's a winning shot for me. So, that that's, so that's, my, that, that, that that was my selection too. But you know, once yeah. again, the, the, these two are both beautiful images, and yeah. yeah. Congratulations. And your group has some fantastic uh, photographers in the general category as well as the masters, but these ones here in the general are just fantastic. Amazing. And there are so many shots tonight that I expected to see all kinds of sensor spots or something in the, the sky. And there was nothing there in most of them. It was really a good night. It really was fantastic. Did you guys go with the uh, memorial? Yes. Yeah. I'll pick this one. All right. Congratulations, well Sergey. He's here in the room. So great. Right on. Well done. Really well done. Well done. All right, judges. Thank you so much for your time tonight and uh, outstanding uh, comments that you provided.